So my lathe setup is basically two in one. Long story short, this uh, front part here is a Joe Porper pool cue repair lathe. I burned out the motor on. So I now have it rigged up off of my other sharp lathe, which is just a basic rigid uh, cheapo wood lathe. Okay, installed the tool rest. Now this is this was the uh, the cutting part of the pool cue repair lathe. It's got a two position, so you can cut across and then down the length. And here's the cutter mounted in the in the back position, which is far away from the chuck. Show you real quick uh, one of the cutting attachment used on the um, lathe is this little chuck cut in inner diameter or outer. One of the great advantages of this uh, particular chuck is the pass through design. So you can basically pass anything up to an inch and a quarter right through the chuck. Here's the tailstock of the pool cue part of the lathe. And here's the other adjustable tailstock with the rollers on it. So you can actually put a back end of a house cue in there. So you can run a full length pool cue in there if you wanted to. Just locks down, clamp it down. All right, here's where making the two into one system became a little tricky, but it was pretty easy when I basically uh, shim the back up with a piece of wood, and then this part stays nice and level on the uh, on the plate here. So all I do is screw that down. It's a little more inconvenient than having quick releases, but yet I don't have anything in the way of the throw of the uh, lathe itself. And here it is with the tool rest in place, or the longer one. So these are just a few uh, projects I've been working on. Uh, this is the other side of the piece of burl from the other side of the log there. I think that one came out real good. That's my latest one. Uh, this is the other section of the burl. Still might make a little mushroom jar out of that or something. I'm not sure yet. Thanks for watching.